After their chaotic first debate, Donald Trump and Joe Biden squared off thousands of kilometers away this time, with Trump in Miami and Biden in Philadelphia, the coronavirus pandemic taking center stage. We did the right thing. We were expected to lose 2,200,000 people and maybe more than that. We're at 210,000 people. One person is too much. It should have never happened because of China. It happened because of China. We make up 4% of the world's population. We have 20% of the world's deaths. We're in a situation where we have 210 plus thousand people dead. And what's he doing? Nothing. He's still not wearing masks and so on. The simultaneous televised town halls meant voters could only listen to one of them at a time, but the event still offered a striking contrast between the two candidates. President Trump repeatedly clashed with his moderator about his COVID tests, his tax returns and his view on white supremacists. He also did not disavow the right-wing conspiracy group QAnon. Right. I just don't know about QAnon. You do know. I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know. You Let me ask me you another thing. It. Let's waste the whole show. Uh, you start off with white supremacy, I denounce it. You start off with something else, let's go. Keep asking me these questions. Okay. First of all, things Biden, meanwhile, was pressed to clarify his position on contentious issues like expanding the U.S. Supreme Court. I have not been a fan of pack co uh, court packing because I think it just generates what will happen every whoever wins it just keeps moving in a way that is inconsistent with what is going to be manageable so you're still not a fan well i'm not a fan i then say I, it depends on how this turns out people working on a, you know two and a half weeks before the election it's not clear whether the night proved the decisive moment that could turn the tide of this race well staying with